أخي في فؤادي وفي مسمعي وفي خاطري أنت والأضلاع أخي في حناياك يجري هوايا وروحك في الكون تسري معي In the Islamic terminology, it means associating partners with Allah. It is the biggest sin. If you break any one of the three categories of Tawheed, you are doing shirk. It is the biggest sin in Islam. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48, Allah forgiveth not that you associate partners with him. Anything else, if he pleases, he may forgive. But anyone who associates partners with him, has done the most grievous, heinous sin. The same message is repeated in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 116. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the sin of joining gods with him. Anything else, if he pleases, he may forgive. But anyone who has joined gods with Allah, he has strayed away too far. So according to the Quran, the sin which Allah will never forgive is shirk. Therefore, while doing da'wah, while speaking to any human being, the best message you can convey is convey the message of Tawheed. Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72, it says, لَقَدْ قَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيُّ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ They are doing kufr. Those who say that Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. Waqal al Masih. But said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who's my Lord and your Lord. In no may shrik billah, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad haram Allah al Jannah, Allah will make Jannah forbidden for them. Allah will make paradise forbidden for them. Wama wahun nar, wama li zalim li min anfar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Inno mishrik billah. Anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad haram Allah alayhi wa jannah. Allah will make paradise forbidden for him. Wama wahun nar, wama li zalimin min ansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. That's the reason I started my talk by quoting a verse of the Quran from Sulaim Al Imran, chapter number three. Verse number 64, which says, Kul Yahil al Kitab. Say, O people of the book, Ta'ala wila kalmatin sawa im baino bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Only believing in one God is not sufficient. Besides believing in one God, you also have to worship Him alone and no one else. The first term is Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. One true Almighty God. That we associate no partners with Him. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. And then they turn back. Say, bear witness. We are not Muslim. We are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Yunus, chapter number 12, verse number 106, that most of the people do not worship Allah without associating partners with Him. That means most of the people, when they worship Allah, they also associate partners with Him. The right thing is worship Him without associating partners. Allah says in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 27, that if all the trees on this earth was converted to pens, and all the oceans into ink, backed with the seven oceans, yet the words of Allah would not be exhausted. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 73, which says, Amen, listen to this parable. All those who you take for protector besides Allah, if all of them gather together to create a fly, they cannot even create a fly. If all those who you worship besides Allah, even if they gathered they will not be able to create a fly. And if the fly snatches away something, they will not be even able to get it back. Feeble are those who petition, 
فی بلا دوزود پٹیشن واخر دعوانا الحمدللہ رب العالمین